am super excited to have you with us today. We want to tell you all about Wendell Kern Technical High School, which I truly believe is the best high school in Pasco County. You being here helps to make it that way because it's parents like you that make a difference and have the exceptional students that we have at KTech. We're going to tell you all about it. So, first off, I do want to share a short video with you that is going to show you a quick look at 13 of our 14 programs. The one program not shown here yet is our pharmacy tech, which will be new to us next year. But the key to these videos is when you watch, take a look at the classroom spaces that are in the video. The big difference between K-Tech and any other high school is we were built for students to have these amazing opportunities. We have the technology, we have the equipment, we have the teachers and the facilities to have an amazing opportunity for our students. When you watch, you're going to see like in the background right here, there's a corner of the robotics room. We hired a robotics teacher from another high school because they were teaching robotics out of an actual math classroom in another high school. Well, instead, they're here now with three classrooms that are twice the size of that math classroom. And in the background, you'll see kids working on a project. They actually made for their senior project a remote control robot. They hooked it up to their Xbox controller. It drives around and it shoots t-shirts, do, 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 like a Gatling gun, out into the crowd. Amazing stuff but they had to program it, they learned how to program this robot, all kinds of cool stuff. But as you watch the video, you'll see auto service, you'll see 10 different bays with cars that go up and down, cosmetology, all kinds of cool stuff, but take a look. Hello, my name is Mel. I would like to introduce you to Wendell Crew Technical High School. Not only is K-Tech an A-rated high school, here at K-Tech we have the low students to teach a racial, which means there is plenty of one-on-one -on -one interactions. Check out what your classroom could look like and what you could be doing in high school. So please make sure you register for K-Tech before it is too late. you enjoyed watching that video you really have to see these spaces to believe them make sure you check out our little student ones that are going to be going on the rest of this evening you'll have 20 minute time frames where you can actually watch a video to tour the facility more and ask students questions about these we also have video links on our website that we'll take you through but you've got to check these places out to believe it the cosmetology you saw there there's 40 nail and or 40 hair stations there's like 12 different nail stations, two or three pedicure. There's a whole room for laser facials. You just have to see this stuff to believe it. All right, K-Tech, not like your traditional technical high school. Here's our mission statement. I'll give you a second to look at that. The key for us is success in their chosen pathways. What sets us apart from all other technical high schools, or most of them at this point, is that we are also gonna get your children ready for college. As an 8th grader coming in, ninth, 10th, they don't necessarily know what they want to do for the rest of their life. So when they graduate from K-Tech, they're going to be ready to get a high paying, wonderful job, but they're also going to be ready to go to a two year or a four year university because we want every door open for them. Quick, show me the money type thing. We want to make sure you understand the jobs our students are getting straight out of high school are phenomenal. We have kids coming out of cybersecurity right off from internships making forty to sixty thousand dollars a year. Within a year, they're getting raises. They're getting the businesses to pay for their colleges. Welding is another one that you can see. Top companies and for welders in Florida, forty dollars an hour down to twenty nine. 
Think about that for a student graduating from high school, going straight into a welding degree, making 30 bucks an hour. 40 hours a week, that's $1,200. 10 hours of overtime because welders are working 50 to 60 hours a week, that's time and a half, $450 more, $1,650 a week, that's like $85,000 a year that a welder could be making if they're working at that $30 an hour mark. So lots of opportunities, HVAC, electricity, marine mechanic. Guys, amazing opportunities. These are the things you can walk out of KTEC ready to do. Wanted to quickly show you, when you come to KTEC, you have a plan in place. You obviously have your core classes, math, science, social studies, language arts, to get you ready for graduating high school, to get you ready for your next stage, whether that be a two-year college or a four-year university, or ready to go straight to the workforce. So everybody is gonna have two years of a foreign language because you need that to be able to go into a four-year university. But the key to KTEC is right here. Every program gets eight classes in their area of interest. If you go to most of the traditional high schools, if you go to culinary at another school in Pasco, you're only gonna probably get two to four classes in your area of interest. When you come to KTEC, you get eight classes, no matter which program you pick. Now, for our biomed, robotics and electronics, cybersecurity, and our pharmacy tech, you get two every year, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th, eight classes. You can't get any further than anywhere else. Here's an electricity example. If you're in one of the 10 programs next door at Marchman, you get one class in ninth grade, one class in 10th grade, and then these big three period blocks in 11th and 12th. The reason for that is, is so you can break down a motor and you're not 50 minutes in and have to go back to another class. You have time if you're in culinary to not only make the cake, bake the cake, ice the cake and eat the cake, you can do that all in one period, whereas at another school, you might have to make up your batter, put it in the fridge, the next day pull it out, cook it, put it in the fridge, the next day pull it out. We have the time because of these big three period blocks. Eight classes in your area of interest, and that's the key. Getting to do what you want to be doing, getting to be hands-on for a bulk of your day, it's an awesome opportunity here at KTEC. Dual enrollment, this is one thing we're super proud of. We have highly credentialed teachers here at KTEC that can actually teach dual enrollment classes on our campus. We offer more dual enrollment credits on campus than any other high school. At this point in time, you can actually get an entire AA degree without ever leaving our campus. So, the way dual enrollment works, freshmen coming in, if you've already taken Spanish in middle school, you can take college Spanish one and two as a freshman. You could take college success and individual discovery as a freshman and get 12 credit hours of college as a freshman. But just so you understand how dual enrollment works, COP 1, COP 2 is a good example. As a student, if you get to your junior year of high school and you decide to take COP 1, COP 2, then basically from August until December you take COP 1. That gives you your junior high school English credit and three college credits. Then from January until May you take COP 2. That gives you your senior high school English credit and three more college credits. So in that one period that year, you got two high school English credits, six college credits. You don't have to worry about passing the test at the end for like an AP class. And now your senior year, you have an opening in your schedule because you already took your senior English credit. So now you can take more dual enrollments, another elective. It just opens up your world. I truly believe we will have more and more kids that are walking across the stage to get their high school diploma and at the same time will be getting their AA degree. Two years of college done and paid for. We had two students do it last year and we've only been open three years. This year we'll have kids that have actually been here all four years and the opportunities are amazing for kids to get college. Certifications is another thing that sets us apart. We go way beyond the other high schools where they're typically trying to get students one certification. Yes, we want to get students one, but we want to get them as many as possible. We are an A-rated high school. Acceleration is part of that. But we go beyond because we're trying to get them as many as possible. Look at this example of cybersecurity. Most of our students coming out of cybersecurity are getting eight and nine certifications. This is the stuff that really sets students' resumes apart, not only for getting amazing jobs, but also for getting into colleges, getting scholarships, having all this stuff proves to the industry, proves to the colleges that the kids know what they're talking about. 
we were recently in a presentation about cybersecurity and the industry businesses were telling us that our high school kids are knowing more than a lot of the college students coming out. Here's a quick look again to see the 14 programs offered and obviously you can check them out on our website. The four that stay on our campus are biomedical, cybersecurity, pharmacy tech, robotics, and electronics. The other 10 that you see, the students will actually walk next door to Marchman Technical College and take advantage of their facilities, their teachers. Awesome teachers over there. The welding teacher used to work for some small companies, NASA, SpaceX, awesome people that really know what they're doing and it's a great opportunity for our kids. I tell you that they're walking next door. I want you to know exactly what that means. Here is Wendell Korean Technical High School. They take this little trail past the baseball field, the width of the football field, and there is Marchman Technical College. It's the length of Calusa Elementary School. So they do make that walk over to take advantage of those facilities and those pieces, but they have plenty of time to do it. If you take a look, you can see that next year's proposed schedule that the board just looked at has us starting at 810. You can see that we actually would have our students that will go over for the first block, juniors and seniors, 820 to 1050. Well, then when they're coming back, they're going into lunch. Amazingly, all of our students get to eat the same lunch. So our kids love that because no matter what program they're in, they get to have lunch together. No matter what grade they're in, they get to have lunch together. And we have inside seating, outside seating. They get to throw the football around, play basketball. So they really enjoy lunch. But you have these transitions. We built it in. At the end of the day, we actually have them ending. If you're ninth and 10th graders going next door, they actually are going over. Sixth period ends at 204. They don't have to be there until 2.12. So they actually have eight minutes to get over there. Plenty of time to make that walk next door. And then at the end of the day, we have extra time built in as well. So we've got the schedule ready so students can make that transition and walk over. We have some really cool special programs that happen here. Aquaponics is one that we definitely want you to check out. We're raising fish, tilapia. They're really cool fish. Um, it's cool because they, when they have their babies, they hold their eggs in their mouth and they don't eat until they hatch and then there's thousands of little babies all over the place. Really cool stuff. But what happens is we just feed the fish and then their water goes through these plants. The plants take out all the nutrients to grow and then the water comes back clean to the fish. What's awesome about this is yes, we're going to hopefully have culinary cooking our fish and plants, but we have every program involved welding, built the frames that the tanks are on, electricity came in and wired pieces of the equipment. We have uh, cybersecurity, biomedical, and chemistry all working together to create an app for our cell phones that will monitor the chemical makeup of the water. We have commercial arts that made nice signage for it to block out some of the lights. Every program's involved, some cool stuff. I want to show you another experience that our students got here at KTech that you just don't get at every high school. And so take a look at this video about Mission 14. With gloves on their hands. We're just going to spread this amoxicillin. And a burning question on their minds. You expel the These students are looking up, way up, for answers. This is what we send up to space. Shelly Nonnenberg, Amanda Marrero, and Emily Knoll, biomedical sciences students at Wendell Crin Tech in Newport Ritchie, were chosen out of more than 29,000 students from the U.S., Canada, and Brazil to have their experiment tested on the International Space Station. And I ran out of the hallway and I was like, oh my God. I can't believe it did it. They want to know what effect, if any, microgravity has on the effectiveness of amoxicillin in killing bacteria that causes staph infections. Because astronauts are really susceptible to this type of bacteria. It's on surfaces in your nose, in your body. The astronauts will run the experiment up in space. So they open one of the clamps and the bacteria will... Um, rehydrate in the broth and then we have amoxicillin and another clamp while students carry out an identical experiment on earth we are assuming that the microgravity will not affect how it grows we're assuming that the bacteria will still not grow the antibiotic will still kill it it took a lot of time research trial and error we put our faith our mind body and soul into this project to be among 34 projects out of nearly 4,000 submissions selected for this year's Student Spaceflight Experiments Program. Three, two, 
One. Mission 13 last July brought 41 student experiments to the ISS. Mission 14 launches via SpaceX late summer. This is probably the best thing in my teaching career that has happened. It's, it's incredible to see students work so hard. The sky's not always the limit. These young women prove it. There's a big dream and it's surreal. I don't think it's set in, settled for any of us that we actually made it this far. Another part of Mission 14 included a patch design contest. The two chosen from PASCO were created by students from Bayonet Point Middle School and Wendell Crin Technical High School. This artwork was also on the SpaceX rocket and will return to Earth with a stamp indicating that it had taken the journey into space. Going to outer space with your science experiment, going to outer space with your commercial art patch, awesome opportunities that kids just don't get everywhere. Here are some things I definitely need you to make sure you're aware of. So here are some pieces that make K-Tech a little bit more challenging for families. Transportation. You do have to get your child to K-Tech or to one of these high schools every day. There is no bus that will pick you up in your neighborhood. So keep that in mind. Again, there is no bus that will pick you up in your neighborhood. I'll tell you though, that's part of what makes our school amazing is because every family that comes here has to go out of their way they're putting education as a priority they're having to transport it gives us an amazing student body but you can depending on where you live if your child can walk to Anclote high school they can hop on a bus there and come to k-tech next year these times are approximate we're guessing off of the prior years transportation times looking at the 810 start what these times will be so they're approximate but you can if you work over in Trinity, you could drop your kid off at Mitchell High School, they get on the bus at 735, it brings them to our school. End of the day, they go back, they could go hang out at the Y. However you want to do it, you can get your kid to any of these high schools or right to K-Tech and have your child come to our school. Buses come before school and after school, but you do have to transport, so want to make sure you know that. Athletics. The district is currently working on the plan for our athletics. But students do get to play sports. We have a lot of students that play sports. Our surveys show that we actually have a really high percentage that play sports compared to most high schools. What's awesome about it is the kids are sitting at the table and there's a kid from the Mitchell High School football team sitting there with the 5A football player, with the golf football player, and they're all talking about their teams and talking about how they're doing this year. So it gives them a great opportunity. What happens is after school, they simply go out to our bus loop, hop on a bus, and it will take them to the school where they will be able to play sports next year. So we do have a system set in place. We've had captains of Anclote's baseball team, captains of 5A's dive team. Our kids are excelling and doing great jobs in all these sports. We have weightlifters, cheerleaders, volleyball players. We've got them all. They just go to another school to play them. So make sure you understand that athletics don't happen on our campus, but we have lots of athletes and they still have the opportunity to do it, which is awesome. Costs. One of the questions that comes up is, wow, how do you get all this and what are the costs? I do want to make sure you know that our program is a public school. So just like when you go to every other school every year, you've paid a $10 science fee, you've paid a $10 art fee, whatever it is you've been paying, those fees are still at KTech, but we're just like every public school. There is a slight increase in the programs. So most of our programs do cost $50 a year. Not a huge amount when you consider what you're getting. Cosmetology is the most expensive program. To give you an idea, that's one, that one is about $200 a year. The reason for that is when the students leave, they leave with a cart, which is about this tall, four drawers in it, and inside is their hair dryer, their clippers, their scissors, their curlers, their combs, all that stuff. So they're paying for equipment that they actually get to keep and take with them when they go out into the workforce. So that's why the costs are higher for some is because they're getting their own personal equipment, all the hands on labs, all the different things we're doing. But I do want to make sure you know that. But again, it's a fraction of what it would really cost out in the real world. If you were to go to Benet's or somewhere like that, you're paying $20,000 to get your cosmetology degree. Here you're talking about $200 a year to do that. So awesome opportunities, but I do want to make sure you know there are some increased costs. Here's the most important part, application timeline. We obviously are here tonight. Application will open in January. It's going to be January 6th through 20th. You have to apply if you want to come to KTech. 
Again, that helps set us apart in that parents go out of their way, students go out of their way. They want to be here. They apply. The application is very simple. You will just go on My Student. There will be a link that you will click on and you'll just say, hey, my favorite program is cybersecurity. But if I can't get into that, I want robotics and electronics. You can pick up to three programs that you're interested in in priority order. Now, I will tell you, I have on here all students will be considered. But priority is given to students who are on grade level for reading and math. So if you're an incoming eighth grader and you're on the eighth grade reading level, which you can prove through FSAs, you can prove through your current NWEAs, however you want to do that, and you're on grade level for math, then priority is given to you. We have not had any students that have not made it in in the first round that are on grade level. Also, I put it on there twice. All students will be considered because we have a lot of students that don't meet all these criteria that we still accept into KTEC. So if you're interested, please apply, but do the best you can on your assessments so you can prove your academic levels because these are challenging classes. We do want to make sure that students are prepared and ready to take some of our dual enrollments. We want you to be able to take advantage of all the opportunities, so make sure you're doing your best and apply if interested because we want you here at KTEC. High school. We do all the normal things all the other high schools do. We have homecoming. We have prom. Our last prom that we had was in the Buck Stadium in the club section. We have a great homecoming last Friday or at this point a couple weeks ago now. Um, but it was an amazing turnout. We do student scouts, council, spirit weeks, all kinds of stuff. Amazing spirit here, here at KTEC. We also do something that a lot of other schools may or may not do, is we provide club time during the day. So every other week, students get a half hour time out of class where they get to do their clubs. And the clubs are decided by the students. So we have new clubs that have come in each year because kids say, hey, I want to do this club. And they find four or five kids, We'll find them a sponsor and all these clubs are happening here at KTEC. Some of the clubs will go after school as well. So Robotics Club is a good example. They take advantage of our extended day and our busing that we actually have after school so that they can work on more projects. But they get a chance to do this during the day every other week and then some of them will do the extended day to get more time. But some awesome, amazing opportunities for kids to really have fun and do some things they can't do at KTEC otherwise. Our band club. We don't have a band class here at KTEC but the kids have a little club that is going. There's a girl here that plays an amazing electric violin. So cool stuff happening here at KTEC. Here's some examples of just normal classes, things that happen. This is what shows the difference, how it's hands-on. Here's a biomedical class. The kids walked into a dead body. Obviously not a real dead body, a mannequin. Next to that mannequin was a pool of red substance. The kids used their knowledge of what they've learned in biomed to test that substance to find out what blood type it was, what the DNA is. So amazing things that these kids are learning and doing and trying to make it into some cool experiences for the students. A quick snapshot of our media center where we have seven of these collaboration stations where students can work together. Pep rally scenes, playing hungry hippos, playing some relay races. Those plungers were cleaned, they were brand new. So I hadn't used those in any toilets, just making sure you know that. Uh, but awesome opportunities for kids to have fun. Blacklight dance we had. Here's the gamers club. The kids playing games during club time. All high schools do powder puff where the boys are dressing up like the cheerleaders and the girls to do the flag football. Dress up days. Lots of spirit here at KTEC and it's an awesome opportunity. I want to come back to the fact that you are the families that we're looking for because you're taking time out of your busy schedules to look into your child's education, to figure out what's happening. And that's what makes our school different, is that every kid that's here has a family that puts education as a priority, and we're a small school. Our goal is to probably be around 700 kids now because we're adding in pharmacy tech, but still a super small school when you consider Mitchell's at 2200, River Ridge is at 1800. So we're a small school environment and it gives students such a great opportunity, and our kids are awesome. Behavior is very minimal, if any. It's an awesome place to be. Make sure you're thinking about KTEC. And by the way, I have students that want to tell you a little bit about KTEC, so we'll let them tell you why they like being here. I love our teachers here at Wendell Crin Technical High School. They're always very supportive and help us with all the problems that we have, deciding with colleges and programs. And yeah, it's a great school to go to.
My favorite thing about Wendell Kern Technical High School is how diverse and accepting the community of students are here. You're free to be yourself and do what you like without judgment of other classmates and it's just a really good group of kids. I love how Wendell Crin offers so many opportunities for both college credit as well as certifications. My favorite part about KTEC is uh, how interactive the school is and uh, how they're always there just to help you and all the teachers are very supportive and fun and friendly and all that. Definitely the teachers, like they actually care about your education and push you to do better. So that's the best part about it. My favorite thing at KTEC is probably my program. Um, I really look forward to going to it every day and seeing Ms. Kumar. It's really hands-on and they really care about you and especially your like core classes as well. They're really trying to make sure you're on track and making sure you get your certifications. Since we're a little bit of a smaller school as compared to a lot of others, um, it's really easy to make friends. It's really easy to find you know, like your kind of almost like click or group you know, with the programs and stuff. So it's, it's really like sense of belonging here. I mean, there's so many like opportunities to keep your grades up, to get really, really good grades, you know, with like the dual enrollment and the different honors opportunities. I just think it's, it's a great atmosphere to be in, you know, with the teachers and the students here. I would have to say my favorite thing about going to this school is the variability that you don't really see at other schools, like the amount of programs we have here, like robotics. It's a technical high school anyways. You have all these cool programs, all these things that you really don't see at other schools. And it's definitely, a unique experience coming here. I like that there's less amount of students. It's a better ratio student to teachers, which means that we get more time and more attention from them so we can better understand certain subjects if we need more help with them. I wanted to say that my favorite thing about KTEC is all the clubs and activities they offer. There's something for everyone so you're never bored. And on top of that, the teachers are so welcoming. This is like the first time in years when I actually want to come to school. I hope you like what the students had to say. At this time, I am going to switch it over to the live view and I will be answering questions. Thank you so much.